What's going on Reefing Fam? March here, Frag Box TV. Today I'm going to talk to you about one of the single fastest growing, easiest to keep corals out there. You guessed it, that's pulsing Xenia. Welcome back to the channel. Another day, another video. Today we're going to be talking about pulsing Xenia. This is one of the most classic and for newer hobbyists, probably most sought after and popular coral out there. So it's a soft coral. It's very easy to keep and it doesn't require calcium to grow. It doesn't require a lot actually. You can place it just about anywhere. Let me see if I have an example here in one of the tanks. I think Tia's got some growing in her Evo. Okay, maybe I'm wrong. Anyways, low light, high light, low flow, medium flow, high flow. Generally, wherever you stick these things, they just grow at an alarming and almost invasive speed. So whenever we sell it, we do recommend to people to place it on an island. What does that mean, an island? For example, in this aquarium, if I was going to add some pulsing Xenia, I would never glue it to the bottom of this rock here. So it'll grow on rock, it'll grow on substrate, it'll even go on glass. Sometimes people put it on the overflow on the back of their tank and it'll actually grow over that entire pane of glass. Anything it comes into contact with, it's going to grow on, but it doesn't have a sting. So in that respect, you don't need to be worried. It's not gonna sting other corals, but other uh, corals that it can grow faster than, it can overtake them in some cases but it's not going to like hammer corals euphilia they have a sting they're going to mess up other corals they touch like this right here is way too close the duncan and the hammer i'm just looking for trouble same over here with the acan and the hammer but what i was saying was before i got sidetracked i wouldn't glue it here at the bottom because once xenia starts to grow there really is no off switch there's no stopping it and it's just going to take this entire single rock it's going to become one big massive pulsing Xenia rock and it grows faster than just about anything else in here. It might compete with something like uh, Kenya tree, which is also a soft coral, no calcium structure. These kind of corals can grow very quickly in just about all tank conditions. So if you have a clean tank, SPS dominated, um, Xenia is going to grow very well. And then in less than ideal conditions, nutrient rich aquariums, also very well if not faster and i think that's why it's easy for most hobbyists to keep because when we're starting out and kind of learning how to keep our tanks nice and clean um, if they're dirtier the xenia don't mind they actually prefer that so what i mean by island this long-winded discussion on island is basically taking uh like another piece of rock marco live rock whatever like something small uh, something like this and placing it on your sand bed and isolating the Xenia to that one single piece. Why do we do that? One, you get to enjoy it. It's still in the aquarium and you get to uh, look at it and it looks great. But in the event that it starts to grow like crazy, it's on this little island that you can take out and easily manage. If it's kind of in between the rocks here, it's just going to spread um, like crazy. But you know, if you want to stick it in the rock, do that too. It is really easy to frag just with a pair of, you know, regular scissors you can just trim the thing back you can't glue it though if you're going to trim it sorry i keep taking the lens on and off that i use on this camera but um, if you try and glue it to a frag plug it's just going to slime up and let go so you need to get it to attach to a piece of substrate first uh, this one is really happy it's pulsing like crazy i think up until recently it was a mystery why it pulsed we thought that maybe uh, it was in order to eat or to increase its surface area for fo to be more photosynthetic. I think there was an article recently that I read that did explain why something to do with carbon dioxide and eating and breathing and something like that. It's basically eating. Some people do tell me that it does stop pulsing in their tank. I'm not 100% sure why and maybe that'll be the question of the day if you know why pulsing Xenia stops pulsing or pulses more. For us it's always pulsed pretty well like it's doing here. It's pretty cool because it's one of the only corals uh, or like hand few of, of corals that will move without any current. So it doesn't need any flow. So as you see here, 
when I do videos, I often turn the flow off via our handy Neptune Apex system because then I can get nice top-down shots without all the ripple and, and water effects. So even with the flow off, you can see all the other corals are kind of just suspended. It looks kind of neat hanging out in, in the water and the, the Xenia doesn't give a damn. It's just pulsing away over there. And I think that's part of the appeal and why people are drawn to this and always have been drawn. When I started in the hobby 15 something years ago, it's one of the first corals I started with and it was popular back then. It's just as popular now. It's really easy to grow, like I said. So we do grow them here in-house in our farm downstairs. So if you're buying one from us, you have the added benefit of that it's cultured and it's not taken from the ocean. I don't know if that matters because they grow so quickly. In terms of pests, they really don't have anything that eats them other than maybe you have a fish, an angelfish, I guess, can nip at them. But it's not like zoanthids where you have, you know, four or five different stupid pests that will munch on them, uh, octospawns and frog spawns. Like most corals have a pest that eats them. Xenia don't have any pests that that eats them. You can dip them before adding them to your tank. It's a good practice to get into dipping all the corals before adding them. But this is one where just looking at it visually is probably enough. It's not necessary because it's just basically pest free. If, uh, pest -free. if anything, this is the pest. For some people, it can take over your aquarium if you're not careful or leave it unchecked. They're more or less all the same color. So there's a pink variety, a beige. They're kind of like pinky beige, some a little taller, a little shorter. There are some that don't pulse. And then there's one super rare variety. It's a blue Xenia. I don't have any right now. I wish I could show it to you. It doesn't pulse and it's non-invasive. I've been trying to grow it. It's not the easiest one to grow. It's like the blue cousin to this one. But like I said, if you're gonna add it to your tank, just make sure you isolate it and this is one that you're going to want to plan ahead for kind of similar to green star polyps the gs gsp yeah just that's a good point matt's saying in the background that they drop off babies like kenya tree so i think i can show you here in this tip as you can see here the kenya tree has actually dropped a few babies off so they started out um probably over here oh no those probably dropped off of there so sometimes as they grow, they drop these little seedlings. You can see there's one over there, two, three, four, five. Um, Xenia does the same thing. So you might want to watch out for those as they drop babies in the tank. Overall, it's a really cool coral though. It's quite beautiful. Like I said, it's the only one that pulses on its own. It's quite hypnotic to watch. It's a lot of fun to watch it just do its thing. It's like this underwater flower that's able to move on its own. There's really no other coral like it. It's it's quite a unique piece. I think that's about it for today's video and this talk on Zini. If you guys haven't got any questions, um, hit us up via email or in the comments below. Uh, we love hearing from you guys and if you like the content, hit the subscribe button because as you know, if you haven't already um, subscribed, we're doing a video every single day of the week, 365 days of the year. That's a lot of videos, but that's it for today's video. Thanks you for watching this episode on Fragbox TV about pulsing Xenia.